these people screw up so badly? Well, maybe a better question is why do you and me screw up so badly? The way Paul puts it is the law, or the de very definition of right and wrong, is constantly tripping you up. And Paul very clearly is illustrating that this is not a fun process. Walking in freedom, not as easy as it seems, not as fast as you'd like. Many think that Paul's primary sin struggle was coveting. He talks about it a lot in this chapter, about the man who's struggling. Really, Paul, who has been struggling. What was Paul coveting? Maybe position, religious position, maybe respect, maybe knowledge. Or maybe he was coveting what the baser of people covet. A nicer house, more money, somebody else's wife. His inability to do what he wants, our inability to do what we want, seems to get frantic here. In six short verses, Paul mentions the word do or do not 21 different times. He's spilling out his own frustrations at trying to be something that he is not yet. Paul is not assigning us and all Christians to defeat. He's merely outlining in detail the reality of the struggle. No pretending, no rushing this thing. You just have to go through it and you got to push through it. He does give the solution to the battle, what he discovered to be the way through to the other side to actually becoming the person he wants to become, actually conforming to his best version through the power of Christ. But that's not till next time. For now, let's just recognize that this battle is common to every person who's dying and living at the same time. It was common to Paul. It's common to you and me. We are in good company.